dates. How to prepare, eat, and store them in five simple, easy to follow steps. Step number one. Now for step one, we're gonna be deep hitting the dates. So all dates that you buy, most likely are gonna have a seed inside of them. Now in order to do this, here's a little quick tip that will help you from getting sticky icky fingers. Now if you've ever made Rice Krispie Treats before, it's kind of like that. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your fingers a little moist. Just run them over, run them under some tap water and flick them off. The next step is to grab however many dates you're going to deep pit or however many dates you're going to eat and start to deep pit them. So now that my fingers are nice and moist, None of the date will stick to my fingers. And it's as simple as that. I can deep pit as many dates as I want, and now I won't have any date residue left on my fingers. Boom. Step number two. So as you're deep pitting your dates, what you want to be doing is inspecting them for mold. So you can include this in step one. I call it a step two because it's just an extra step. So once you've deep pitted your dates, if you see any black speckles inside, it's not extra sugars, it's not excess sugars. The black speckles or black stuff you see inside of your date around the pits, that's black mold, y'all. So go ahead and chuck that into the compost bin and on to the next one. Step number three. So once you've got all your dates deep pitted, once you've checked them, all for mold, all for insects, any other kind of disease or anything else. Just plain, y'all. Just checking for mold and insects. The next thing you're going to want to do is take yourself a bowl, a cup, whatever you got laying around, and chuck your dates in the bowl, not on the ground, and fill it up with some water. Make sure that all the dates get covered with water. And what we're going to do is let this soak at least 10 minutes up to an hour. And then we're going to be ready to use our dates. Step number four. Once you've had your dates soaking for the desired amount of time, now you're ready to use your dates. And one of my favorite ways to eat dates, if I'm not on this bicycle, you know, cycling around town, I like to use my dates in smoothies. So just a few dates in each smoothie, whether it's a banana smoothie, whether you want to make a Daterade, you know, some kind of tropical smoothie, a few dates in the bottom of your blender will really add sweetness. So what I like to do is take the dates, and I like to put the dates in the blender first. Easy as that, y'all. Go ahead, you can go ahead and keep the water that they were soaking in it's just going to help blend up the dates, help blend up the rest of the contents, and boom, you're ready to start making your smoothie. Step number five, last step. How do you store the dates? Well, that's a good question. There's really two ways you can store them. My favorite way, and if you plan on eating your dates, you know, pretty soon, you're going to want to go ahead and throw them on in your refrigerator. easy as that. Now, if you don't plan on eating your dates right away, say you want to store them for six months up to a year, there is another option. So what you're going to want to do there is go ahead and deep pit them like I showed you all. Deep pit them, check them for mold and insects, and then what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to soak them. You're going to want to throw them into some kind of freezer bag, Tupperware, you know, glass container, and go ahead and throw them in your freezer. Now, when you throw them in your freezer, You'll still be able to use them in your smoothies whenever you want. As far as eating them right out of the freezer, it'd probably be like a popsicle. But for me, the easiest way is just to keep them in the fridge. I'll eat them before they go bad. And what do you know, y'all? That's five easy, simple steps of how to prepare, eat, and store your dates for future reference. 
Let me know what you think down below in the comments. What do you do with your dates? Do you refrigerate them? Do you freeze them? You make smoothies with them or you just pop them in your mouth like candy? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with all your friends, hit that big red subscribe button for more content, more vegan content, and don't forget y'all to go